So, um, James, tell us a little bit about your general inspirations uh, when you're working and, and how your work comes about. Well, I think a lot of the work comes from um, subconscious dreams, memories, and also a reverence for art history and uh, fine draftsmanship. So I look towards um, uh, draftsmen like Hokusai or Shitoshi to uh, bring that into my own uh, vocabulary and uh, the kind of work that I feel compelled to make, which is usually a mix of uh, surreal, dark imagery. Um, yeah, that's basically, it's kind of hard to, to articulate, but it's a, sure. it's a mishmash of all these different influences. And um, growing up, were you inspired by particular, by particular artists? I mean, you're obviously your work is quite unique in that there weren't many. I don't, you know, there weren't many artists doing that sort of thing when you were growing up, probably. Yeah. But you know, were you inspired by anyone? Or yeah, you know, I grew up reading comics, and yeah. then uh, when I went to art school, that's when I discovered painting. Yeah. And then uh, I, lo- I was looking at a wide diversity of things. Uh, from, I guess Alfred Durer was a big one. Uh, Inka Essenhai, and more recently, like Neil Rauch, um, and the list goes on and on, come from the comics world, like Chris Ware, and uh, but teachers I had in our school included uh, Stephen Assel, Joe McMullen, Thomas Woodruff, wow. and they all had a big influence on me, so, uh, yeah, I, the, the big mishmash of all those people sort of uh, condensed into what I'm doing now, and I feel like it's it's sort of uh, influenced a lot of other people since then. Like it's, it's almost been 10 years, and uh, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And, um, and finally, just uh, tell us a little bit about Kindling and uh, where the concept for the book came, and obviously the works as well. Um, Kindling is a collection as well of uh, poster prints that collect work I did for uh, my last gallery show, Jonathan Wabine Gallery. Um, the title comes from the idea that the work is kind of disposable or flammable, and it's sort of a transition from, from uh, being a commercial artist to becoming a painter, so I wanted the work to sort of uh, be a bridge. And, uh, being my first get, my first real solo gallery show, that was a good opportunity to uh, you know, do this work on paper that wasn't necessarily so serious, but kind of uh, create a segue between the work I was doing in the commercial world and, and uh, towards something more painterly. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I have a five project book done in Chronicle, and this is one of the projects that uh, they proposed that we do, and I said, hey, why don't we do a, a poster book collecting these paintings? And um, yeah, they came up with a dummy book, and I designed the package, and yeah, it was a good uh, collaboration. Fantastic. Cool. Thanks for your time, James. Yeah.